ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಭಾರತಿ ವೈಶಂಜ್ಯ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಬೈ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಯನಾ ಹೆಟ್ಟಿ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈಶಂಜ್ಯ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಪೇಪರ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಏನ್ಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾನ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಜರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ this topic is divided into two parts in this video we are going to study the part 1 so what are the contents we are going to study in this class the contents are what is mana significance of mana types of mana magadiya pautava mana so we'll deep dive into this topic so initially we should understand what is mana then only we can understand the whole concept of this particular topic so what is mana now according to amara kosha niyate anena iti manam parimanam niyate anena iti manam parimanam it is that through which any substance is measured it is that through which any substance is measured the subject or the substance may be solid liquid or in the gaseous state according to shabda sagara mana is measurement or measuring in general whether of weight length or the capacity according to apte mana is standard of measurement according to monier williams dictionary it is measuring or the dimension so we can now understood we can understand now what is mana mana is a system of measurement through which the weight of the length of the or the capacity of a material are measured mana is a system of measurement through which weight length and capacity of the material are measured so there is uh, one doubt arises now why one has to study mana why why we have to study mana we are studying bhashya kalpana paper no doubt in that in the second year we are studying this bhashya kalpana paper it is a part of ems and ayurveda so in the broader way or in the broader sense to study to understand to implement this shastra ayurveda is a shastra it's a tantra to understand this shastra or tantra to study this shastra or tantra to understand this shastra or tantra and to implement in our life or in the others life in our life means to maintain our health and to treat our diseases similarly maintain and treat diseases of a other person so to study understand and implement the shastra how to study understand and implement see ashtangas are there in ayurveda that is called ashtangas to study them to understand them to implement them we need mana we know mana then when you want to give treatment chikitsa chatushpada the mana plays an important role in the chikitsa chatushpada if you want to analyze the prakriti of a person or the vikriti of the person we need some measuring parameters if we know the measuring parameters properly we can do the prakriti and vikriti pariksha so that our diagnosis will be accurate then after the diagnosis diagnosis will come to the medicine point so preparation of the medicine or if you want to give that medicine to the person or the patient fixing the dose fixation of the dose to fix the dose we need mana so totally to study to understand to implement the shastra everybody those who are desiring to study ayurveda should study mana so this is about 
the this is the beautiful reason why one has to study the mana next is significance of mana importance of mana okay significance of mana or importance of mana na mane na vina yukti hi dravyanam jayate kochit ataha prayog karyartam manam atra uchyate maya according to sharangadara without the proper knowledge of mana it is not possible to do prayoga and carry of dravya on the patient so if we have the proper knowledge of mana we can successfully do the prayoga and carry of the dravya on the patient over the patient hence one should learn mana and use them to attain success in chikitsa kshetra according to charaka uh, while explaining uh, in the vimanasthana under the vimanasthana what is the importance of vimana or mana charaka has given dosha beshaj desh kal bal sharira sar ahar satmya sattva prakriti vayasam manam avahita manasa yatavat gneyam bhavati bishaja doshaadi mana jnanayat jnanayat tattvat kriyayah nahi manajyo doshaadina bishak vyadi nigraha samarto bhavati all the kriyas or chikitsas are under the mana of dosha beshaj desh kal bal sharir sar ahar satmya sattva prakriti vaya so if you want to give proper treatment bishak should know the mana if you don't know the mana without the knowledge of mana bishak becomes incapable to give adequate chikitsa that is what they are telling nahi mana jno nigraha samarto bishak vyadi nigraha samarto without the knowledge of mana bishak becomes asamartha to control the vyadi so to control the vyadi one should know mana this is according to charaka so next is types of mana there are two classification for the types of mana one is based on the area and the second one is based on the nature of the substance so first one will study now that is based on the area based on the area there are two types of mana kalingam magadam cheti vividam mana muchyate kalinga magadam shreshtam manam manavido viduh ah uh, what acharya sharangadara is telling in this shloka during his era the mana experts manavido experts uh, considered magadha mana and kalinga mana in that magadha mana is shreshta compared to kalinga mana so in the types of mana based on the area there are two types of mana one is kalinga mana and second one is magadha mana charangadara tells in this reference that the, uh, the experts of mana in his era considered magadha mana as shreshta mana compared to kalinga mana so magadha mana which is uh, followed in the magadha desha which was ruled by gupta dynasty or maurya dynasty currently it is the bihar state kalinga mana which is followed in the kalinga desha or kalinga desha ruled by kalinga dynasty currently it is odisha state and north part of the andhra pradesh north of andhra pradesh so this is the first classification based on the area 
Kalingamana and Magadamana. In that, Magadamana is considered Sreshta. What is the difference between the Magadamana and Kalingamana? Magadamana, it is followed in Magadadesha. Kalingamana, it is followed in Kalingadesha. The Vidwans of Mana or the experts of Mana considered Magadamana as a Sreshta and Kalingamana Magadat Uttara below to the Magadamana. And Kalingamana, which is explained in Sushruta Samhita, Magadamana, which is explained in Charaka Samhita. Magadamana, here, six gunja, uh, the weight of six gunja becomes equivalent to one masha. Hence, measurements are big. Six gunjas are sufficient to weigh one masha. However, in Kalingamana or Kalingamana, eight gunjas are required to weigh one masha. So, measurements are small in size. So, this is the difference between the Kalingamana and the Magadamana. Kalingamana is followed in the Kalingadesha. Magadamana which is followed in the Magadadesha. Magadamana is considered Sreshta. Explained in Charaka Samhita. Kalingamana is explained in the Sushruta Samhita. Then in the Magadamana, six gunjas are sufficient to weigh one masha. Whereas in the Kalingamana, eight gunjas are required to weigh one masha. So next is based on the based on the nature of the substance. There are three types based on the nature of the substance. One is Pautavamana, weight and measurements which are expressed for solids. The weights and measurements which are used or the standard which are used to, to denote the solid substances. Dhruvayamana, here the measurements which are expressed for capacity or the volume of the liquid. Payamana, measures which are used to denote distance or the length of the substance. So, these are the three uh, classification based on the nature of the substance. One is Pautavamana, which is for solid substance. Dhruvayamana, which is used for express the capacity or the volume of the liquid. Payamana, which is used for denote the length or the distance of the substance. Along with this, there is a one more mana that is called Kalamana. Here in our Shastra, Kalamana is used for many uh, circumstances, in many circumstances. However, in the Vaishajya Kalpana, the Kalamana is mainly used for collection of the drugs, time of administration of the Aushadi, that is Aushadha Sevana Kala, to state the Serviryata Avadi of the drug, that is to explain the Serviryata Avadi of the drug, we have used or we can see the references of Kalamana. So, Kalamana is nothing but the measure of time. Next is Magadiya Pautavamana. So, here we are going to study the measurements which are used for the solid Pautavamana under the Magadamana. Okay. In Magadadesha, how the Pautavamana expressions were there. So, we will go on studying one by one. First one is, what is Vamshi? Trasarenu Budai Prokta Trimshata Paramanu Bihi Trasarenatsu Pariyaya Namna Vamshi Nigadhyate. So, what is Vamshi? Vamshi is uh, synonym for Trasarenu. Trasarenu is made up of 30 Paramanus. This Magadiya Pautavamana is explained in Sarangadar Samhita Pratamakanda, Purva Kanda, first chapter. Paramanu is the smallest unit of measurement. Paramanu is smallest unit of measurement, but it is not visible for the eyes. Okay. Vamshi is the visible unit of measurement. 
Vamshi is made up of thirty paramanus. So it is a visible unit. For that, Charangadara has given one shloka. That is, Jalantara gatai hi, Surya karai hi, Vamshi hi vilokyate. Me Vamshi is particles which are visible when a ray of light enters into a darker room. So Paramanu is one thirtieth of Vamshi. If you divide that particles into thirty parts, it becomes equivalent to Paramanu. So here we don't have to confuse. We have to study what is Vamshi. One Vamshi equal to weight of thirty Paramanus, and the Vamshi is the pa visible particle when a ray of light enters into the darker room. Okay, there are many particles are visible. The each particle is called as Vamshi. Next one is what is Marichi, Rajika, and Sashapa. Shat Vamshi bhi Marichi hi syaat. Six Vamshi together lead to one Marichi. The one Marichi weight is equivalent to six Vamshi. In dictionary, Sanskrit dictionary, for the Marichi they have given. Weight of the a ray of light or a beam of light. So what is Rajika? Six Marichi equivalent to one Rajika. Three Rajika is equivalent to one Sarshapa. Shad bhi, Shad Vamshi bhi Marichi hi syaat. Ta bhi, Shad bistu Rajika. Tisra bhi Rajika bista Sarshapa prochyate budai hi. Here, Rajika is white or yellow variety of mustard, and Rajika is uh, uh, three Rajika lead to one Sarshapa. The Sarshapa is the black variety of mustard which is commonly used. So here we studied Marichi, Rajika, and Sarshapa. One Vamshi is equal to thirty Paramanu. Six Vamshi is equal to one Marichi. Six Marichi is equal to one Rajika. Three Rajika is equal to one Sarshapa. Next one is what is the measurement of Yava, Gunja, and Masha? Yavo Ashta Sarshapa hi prokto Gunja kya tat chatustayam shadbistu rakti ka bistya Masha ko hema danya kau. So one Yava is equal to eight Sarshapa. And four yava is equal to one gunja. Six gunja is equal to one mashaka. Yavo ashta sarshapai. Eight sarshapa together leads to one yava. Chatushtaya yava chatushtaya leads to one gunja. Then six gunja is equivalent to one mashaka. And masha is also has synonym as hema and danyaka. So here, what we studied: Vamshi, Marichi, Radhika, Sarshapa, Yava, Gunja, and Masha. In the next slide, we are going to study few more terminologies. That is, what is Shana? What is Kola? Masha hi chaturbhi Shana syat darana ha sa nigadhyate tanka ha sa eva katita ha. तद्वयम् कोल उच्यते शुद्रको वटकस्चैव द्रंक्षणः स निगद्यते Here, one shana is equivalent to four masha. Four masha ways to lead to one shana. It is also called as dharana or tanka. Shana means actually a touchstone to uh, a Scratch stone or the rubbing stone used to test the genuinity of the gold or any other metal. In the previous time, shana was used, small stone was used. Nowadays, we have scratch plate or touch stone which are used to test the genuinity of the precious metal. So here, four masha becomes one shana. Then 
two shada lead to one kola it is also called as shudraka vataka drankshana next is what is karsha kola dvayam cha karsha syat sa proktaha two kola lead to one karsha so here what they have given two kola is equal to one karsha next what is they have given that is shukti and phala syat karsha vyam ardha phalam shukti hi ashtamika tata here what they are giving two karshas leads to one shukti it is also called as ardha phala ashtamika means eight tankas together lead to one shukti next is phala shukti vyam cha phalam jneya shukti vyam cha phalam jneya two shukti lead to one phala next is prasruti and kudava two phala lead to one prasruti it is also called as prasrata phalabhya prasruti hi gneya prasrutascha nigadyate prasrutyabhya anjali hi syat kudava so two phala is equivalent to one prasruti it is also called as prasrata two prasruti leads to kudava it is also called as anjali next is what is sharava prastha adaka sharavu ashta phalam tadvat vigneyam atra vichakshanaihi sharavabhya bave prastha chatur prastai tatadakam so here they have given what is sharava sharavu ashta phalam eight phala will lead to one sharava in the previous what we have studied up to kudava we have studied here for the sharava we can take two kudava is equivalent to one sharava in the shloka what they have given sharavo ashta phalam eight phala will lead to one sharava two sharava lead to one prastha the weight of two sharava become equivalent to one prastha sharava abhya bave prastaha chatur prastaihi tata adakam four prastha together will lead to one adaka or weight equivalent to one adaka next what they have given drona shurpa droni hari chaturbihi adakaihi drona ha four adaka equivalent to one drona drona abhya shurpa ha two drona one shurpa shurpa abhya bave droni hi two shurpa will lead to one droni hi droni chatushtayam hari katita four droni will lead to or weight equivalent to one hari so along with that they have given what is bara and what is tula one bara is equivalent to 2000 phala in the shloka they have given phala na dvi sahasram cha bara ek prakirtita ha tula is 100 phala is equal to one tula tula phala shatam jneya sarvatra esha nischaya ha so bara is 2000 phala and tula is 100 phala so same thing here with the metric equivalent are given in this table 30 paramanu is equal to 1 vamshi 6 vamshi is equal to 1 marichi 6 marichi is equal to 1 rajika rajika is uh, if you want once again we'll go through it 30 paramanu is equal to 1 vamshi vamshi is the visible particle when a ray of light enters into the darker room then 6 vamshi is equal to 1 marichi for the marichi in the dictionary the weight of one ray of light or beam of light 3 marichi is equal to 1 rajika rajika is white or yellow variety of mustard 
then 8 Sarshapa, sorry, 3 Rajika is equal to 1 Sarshapa. 1 Sarshapa. Sarshapa means the black variety of mustard. 8 Sarshapa together weight equivalent to the weight of the 8 Sarshapa leads to 1 Yava. Yava can be taken as a barley. 4 Yava, weight of 4 Yava is equivalent to 1 Gunja. Gunja or Rakti. Then the metric equivalent of Gunja is 125 Mg. Then 6 Gunja equivalent to 1 Masha. It is 750 Mg. The synonyms are Hema and Danyaka. The bigger variety of the Masha. Okay, Masha means Urdal. Okay, black gram. Then 4 Masha is equal to 1 Shana. The metric equivalent is 3 gram. Synonyms are Tanka Dharana. Tanka Dharana. The Shana, Tanka or Dharana is touchstone which is used to test the genuinity of metals. Next, 2 Shana equivalent to 1 Kola. The metric equivalent is 6 gram. Synonyms are Shudraka, Vataka, Drankshana. 2 Kola is equivalent to 1 karsha. Metric equivalent weight is 12 gram. The synonyms are Pani Manika, Pani Manika, Aksha, Aksha Pitu, Pani Tala, Kinchit Pani, Sinduka, Vidala Padaka, Shodashika, Saramadhya, Hamsapada, Kavalagraha, Udumbara and Suvarna. In the Tika of Charangadara Samhita, the tika of the Charangadara this uh, Samhita, there they have given what is Pani Manika. For the Pani Manika, they have given Karatalam Viduhu, the weight which can be held by the base of the palm. Okay, the weight which can be held by the base of the palm, we have to consider. But it is not very uh, accurate. All these are not very accurate, or they might have the knowledge to get the accurate knowledge of these things. Next is Aksha. Aksha is Vibhitaki Phala. The weight of Vibhitaki Phala. Aksha Pitu is also same. The weight of the Vibhitaki Phala. Next they have given Pani Tala. That is which can be hold by the palm. Next is Kinchit Pani. Once again the hold by the palm. Tinduka. The weight of the Tinduka Phala. Vidala Padaka. Vidala Padaka they have given Anguli. Trayam, Grahyam, Churna, Dravyam. Three angulis which can be the weight of the Churna which is held by three fingers. Or we can, how much quantity of Churna we can hold when these three fingers are together. That much is the weight of one Karsha. Shodashika. Shodashika is Shodasha. Sixteen Masha leads to one Karsha. Karamadhya. The middle of the palm. Hamsa Pada, the Pada, the weight of the Hamsa. Kavala Graha, how much quantity we can hold when we do the Kavala. The Udumbara, the weight of the Udumbara Phala. One more is Suvarna. Suvarna is the, the previous days we used to get a gold coin or uh, the gold coins which are there in the practice, the weight of that gold coin is equivalent to one Karsha. Next is these are the synonyms. It is not uh, necessary to understand these each word. Uh, but from the point of uh, PGET, when you are uh, appearing for the uh, PG post graduation entrance exam, there are chances that these synonyms they may ask for the, uh, they may give Karsha, what is Karsha, and uh, four uh, options they may give Pani Manika, Aksha, Udumbara, or anything. So, if you understand what is the meaning of these synonyms, so that you can remember the, during that PG entrance also. But from the point of Baisha uh, Jakalpana paper or the UG syllabus, if you know two cola, uh, two cola is equal to one karcha, it's enough for that. Okay. Next is from the for the uh, exam. Next is two karcha is equal to one shukti, that is 24 gram, uh, that is ashtamika. The synonym they have given is the Ashtamika. Ashtamika means the weight of 8 tanka. 1 tanka is equal to 3 grams. 3 into 8, 
24 that is ashtamika 2 shukti is equal to 1 pala equivalent metric equivalent is 48 gram the synonyms are mushtihi amra chaturtika prakuncha shodashi bilva so here the weight of the amra and the bilva pala shodashi is it is uh, made up of 16 shada that is the reason they have given the shodashi then mushti is the quantity which can be hold when uh, quantity which can be held by the fist mushti is fist nakaha antaha mushtihi nakantaha mushtihi naka antaha mushtihi that is uh, the quantity is equivalent to uh, the quantity of drug which can be hold in one mushti chaturtika chaturtika is uh, it is uh, four karsha so four karsha lead to one pala hence they have given chatur chaturtika so these are the synonyms of pala mushti amra chaturtika prakuncha shodashi and bilva two pala the weight of two pala is equivalent to one prasruti it is also called as prasruta for the prasruti they have given prasarita anguli karatalam prasarita it should be the anguli the finger should be spread okay next is two prasruti is equal to one kudava metric equivalent is 192 gram and the synonyms are anjali ardasharava ashtamana here anjali for the pras uh, uh, kudava or uh, for the kudava what they have given is or the anjali what they have given is because anjali uh, i think uh, in the sharira sthana and in the kriya sharira rachana and in the kriya sharira we have studied the this much of anjali is rakadatu raktadatu so what is the anjali for that they have given anjali stu kara dvaya milita samputakara kara dvaya milita samputakara okay so this is the samputakara is anjali the weight uh, the weight which we can hold in this this method is equivalent to one kudava whatever the weight we can hold by holding the two hands together and make it into a, a bowl like shape the whatever the weight we can hold is equivalent becomes equivalent to one kudava uh, then Ardha Sharava and Ashtamana. Ashtamana is because it is the weight is equivalent to 8 Shukti. Okay. Then 2 Kudava is equivalent to 1 Sharava. That is 384 gram metric equivalent. The synonym is Manika. 2 Sharava equivalent to 1 Prasta. 768 gram. Then 4 Prasta is equal to one adaka metric weight equivalent is 3.072 kg the synonyms are bajana kamsa patra then four adaka is equal to one drona metric equivalent weight is 12.28 uh, 288 kg metric uh, equivalent weight is 12. 288 kg. We should not pronounce it as a 288. After the decimal, we should always call it as 12.288. The synonyms are Kalasha, Nalvana, Unmana, Gata, Rashi. So these are the here uh, in the Tika, we, uh, I, we didn't get any uh, explanation for the Manika, Bajana, Kamsapatra, Kalasha, and all these. We can consider one nadaka is equal to bhajana or kamsa patra, the capacity to hold 3 kg, the vessel which, the, which has the capacity to hold 3 kg. Bhajana is, meaning is, the meaning of the word bhajana is vessel. Kamsa patra, it is also vessel which can hold 3.072 kg. Next is kalasha, nalvana, gata, it is a bigger pot or bigger vessel which can hold 12.288 kg.
Next is two drona is equal to one sure pa is equal to metric weight is equal to twenty four point five seven six kg. Synonym is kumba. It's a bigger more vessel uh, compared to the previous uh, vessel that is kalasha, gatta, unmana. All these they have given. Kumba is little bigger vessel compared to gatta or kalasha. Two sure pa equal to one drone. The metric equivalent is forty nine point one five two kg. The synonyms are wahi, goni. These are the synonyms. For example, in Kannada, one to goni sakkare. Approximately one to goni sakkare is fifty kg. So here we can the relevance of the word goni or wahi. So two sure pa leads to one droni. That is forty nine point one five two kg. Four droni is equal to one kari. The weight metric equivalent weight is one ninety six point six zero eight kg. Then two thousand phala is equal to one bara. That is ninety six kg. Tula is hundred phala. The metric equivalent weight is four kg. So this is the magadiya pautava mana. It is bit lengthy. But if we understand this uh, uh, Magadhiya Pautava Mana, and if we remember this from the exam point point also, it is important for five marks. And similarly, when you are studying the Shastra, if you want to prepare Asavarista, uh, Avaleha, or uh, Vati tablet, all the uh, references have the Sanskrit references. We we have the shlokas which are in Sanskrit. And some Sanskrita references are in. You have to take this much of kola, this much of pala, this much of prasta. Hence, one should learn this mana. So next is chaturguna mana. Same pautha mana what we have studied given in a simple form in the one shloka. That is, each one multi uh, multiplied by four times and leads to the one more way. Okay, that is called Chaturguna Mana. It uh, the shloka is Masha Tanka Masha Masha Tanka Aksha Bilwani Pudavaha Prastha Madakam Rashihi Gonihi Kari Keti Kari Keti Yatha Uttara Chaturguna Ha. That this is called Chaturguna Mana. This is also important from the post graduation entrance examination. So here, what they are telling in the shloka, four masha is leads to or equal into one tanka. Four tanka is equal to one aksha. One aksha is a synonym of karcha. So four aksha leads to bilva. Bilva is synonym of pala. Four bilva leads to one kudava. Four kudava leads to one prastha. Four prastha leads to one adaka. Four adakas leads to Rashi. Four Rashi leads to one Drona. Rashi is synonym for Drona. Then four Rashi or Drona leads to one Drona. Four Drona leads to one Kari. Metric equivalent is we can uh, remember the uh, we have to multiply by four. Three gram. That is one tanka is three gram, one aksha is twelve gram, one bilva or one pala is forty eight gram, one kudava is one ninety two gram, one prastha is seven sixty eight gram, one adaka is three point zero seven two kg, one rashi or drona is twelve point two eight eight kg, one droni is equal to forty nine point one five two kg, one khari is equal to one ninety six point six kg. So this uh, by this we conclude the. part 1 what we which we which we planned for the today's class here what we studied the contents which we studied are what is mana why we have to study mana significance of mana types or the classification of mana in the classification based on the area based on the nature of the substance in that the pautava that is the measurement for solid according to magadhesha that is magadhiya pautava mana we study
so by this we conclude today's class thank you